Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric, and while some models like RMC Hybrids and B&M Gigas and Hypers get lots of love, there are some types of roller coasters I think deserve a lot more credit, and I'm going to count those down today. These are the top 10 most underrated coaster models I've been on. Before we begin, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel so you know when new videos come out. But a few things I want to point out as far as underrated goes, this mostly will mean either models that people don't love that I think are really great, or ones people just don't talk about as much. Let's get right into the list. Number 10 is Aero Mine Trains. These obviously don't get talked about a lot, and they're family coasters, so most of them are just decent, and I understand why people wouldn't talk about them. They barely make this list because of Runaway Mine Train at Six Flags Over Texas. This is actually a really good roller coaster. A lot of people don't like it, say it's rough. I had a really smooth ride, and I thought the drop at the end was actually really terrifying. So there's a lot of great Aero Mine Trains out there, and they definitely deserve a lot more credit. Number nine is Premier Rides Launch Coasters. Most people like these, mainly for Revenge of the Mummy, I think. But I think Mr. Freeze is underrated and deserves a lot more credit. Full Throttle's really great. And there's a couple other Skyrocket models that are kind of their own thing, but Premier Rides Launch Coasters are just very, very good overall. Number 8 is Vacoma's Invertigo model. I thought this was perfectly smooth and intense at King's Island, and is a pretty underrated coaster there. I've only been on one Invertigo, but I think no one really talks about them, and they are definitely worth riding if you go to a park with one. Number 7 is B&M Loopers. For this, I'm really just thinking about Hulk, and Kumba in Florida. Those are the only ones I've been on. Both are amazing rides. Kumba gets a lot of love, sure. Hulk does not, honestly. From my understanding, a lot of people think it's pretty rough now. I think it's really smooth and one of the best roller coasters out there. And Kumba's also really great. So they definitely deserve a lot more credit and they're really good roller coasters. Number six is Intimate Impulse, namely Wicked Twister which I've hear, heard honestly a lot of bad stuff about lately. People say it's rough and not very good. I thought it still held up well on my last visit just a few weeks ago, and it was a really great visit. I really, really enjoyed Wicked Twister, and I thought it's still a fantastic ride. Deserves more credit, honestly. Definitely an underrated model, Intimate Impulse. Number five, a bit of a weird one, Scenic Railways. These are really old roller coasters no one talks about because no one gets on them. But the one at Tivoli Gardens is perfectly smooth, great airtime, good theming, Rusha Bonnet is fantastic, and Scenic Railways are really underrated. Number 4, B&M Floorless Coasters. Some of these are not good. I don't like Batman the Dark Knight at Six Flags New England. However, Dominator, Kraken, and Daemonin are absolutely great rides. I think Daemonin is pretty underrated, with some great theming and some pretty solid elements. Kraken's layout is fantastic, and Dominator is the most underrated coaster I've ever been on. So the model overall definitely deserves a lot more respect, even if there's a few weak entries in it like Rougarou and Batman. Number 3, BNM Wing Coasters. I've only been on Gatekeeper, but a lot of you probably know I love Gatekeeper. I think it's smooth, solidly intense, some good airtime, and some really great inversions. Not much else to say, I just really love wing coasters and think they're underrated. Number two is B&M stand-ups. A lot of people hate these mainly for what they are in their actual kind of model. However, the layouts are great on these, and I really like most of them. Green Lantern is awful at Six Flags Great Adventure, I'll admit that. However, I love Riddler's Revenge. I thought Mantis was really great. I'm one of the few people who really like Vortex at Carowinds. And I just really enjoy most BM stand up coasters. I get some of the hate behind them, but they're really not that bad in my opinion. And some of them are even really great. Now for number one. Number one is BM dive coasters. You probably noticed there's a lot of BMs on this list. I think there's a lot of underrated BM models. Dive coasters are great. I've only been on Shikra and Bell Raven so far, unfortunately. However, both of those are well in my top 50. Shikra is really, really great. And one thing I want to point out, I find both of these to be pretty forceful at times. 
a lot of people say they are forceless, but at the same time, some of those people gray out on roller coasters, I don't find very forceful, so I find that weird that I have a very different taste in force, I guess, I'm not sure how to say it, but I think the dives are fantastic, the drops, I mean, really, really great. There's a lot of memorable moments on all of them, and they're just really great rides, so much fun. Maybe they're made a bit more for the GP crowd because of the holding drop thing. However, I really love dive coasters and think they are absolutely amazing rides. And that's my list. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment the underrated coaster models you think down below. Subscribe so you know when new videos come out. I'll see you next time.